2020, I'm sure you'll all agree, has undoubtedly been an annus horribilis, as the Queen would surely say. And I, for one, I'm counting down the days uh, to the new year to wave 2020 goodbye. Uh, but still, as with all major disasters and emergencies, it offers opportunities for individuals and communities to unite and work together towards a common goal. And we witnessed this. We saw nearly a million people across the country sign up to a national volunteer scheme to help deliver food and medicines to their neighbours who were shielding. Individuals and groups made, raised millions of pounds for NHS trust partners who provided life-saving interventions. And we also shared the, and celebrated uh, the recognition of the hardworking frontline staff who work so hard and tirelessly to keep our country moving. Uh, and even though we are faced with such a crisis, we work together to overcome it. And we too, as a creative learning arts and cultural sector, we were proactive in our response too. Our local art venues and organisations show true resilience, grit and determination as they adapted their provision. They embraced digital technologies to ensure creative and artistic offer was still made available during lockdown. And our schools did an amazing job of moving all their lessons online to ensure that their students were able to continue with their education uh, during lockdown. Our partners, Lancaster University, in working in partnership with schools and youth and community organisations across the district, provided hundreds of laptops and digital devices for young people to access online learning and participation opportunities and to stay in contact with their friends during this very strange and unusual period. And we should be immensely proud of what was achieved against significant odds. Still, we're not out of the woods just yet. And as we know, here in Lancashire, we're still forced to abide by tier three restrictions and our cultural and creative arts venues remain closed. But hope is on the horizon. And in March this year, the idea of an effective vaccine being available by this time was just a pipe dream. But less than nine months after the, after the lockdown, the vaccine is now with us. And to paraphrase Nelson Mandela, they say it is impossible until it's done. And gee whiz, we did think it was impossible at the start of the year, but here it is, and it's now being shared uh, to our most needy. So it's our great hope that by spring 2021, our art venues and cultural and heritage sites can fully reopen to the public uh, and we can go back to a pre-COVID reality. But the vaccine was only realized thanks to the efforts of thousands of scientists, medical experts, academics from across the world, working in a cohesive partnership towards a common shared goal. And for me, that is the best way and possibly the only way for big adventurous and ambitious plans to be realized. I feel immensely proud to hold the position of co-chair of the Culture Co-op, as we too are a cohesive partnership of exceptionally skilled, experienced artists, cultural learning managers, educators, and youth and community practitioners who share a common goal. That common goal is to ensure that every young person across the Lancaster district has access to high quality culture and creative activity, no matter their background, ability, or circumstance. And over the next hour or so, you'll hear about the amazing projects and outcomes that have been, been made possible through meaningful and sustained partnerships between schools, arts organisations and cultural and heritage sites. You'll be updated on the Our Place in the World Cultural and Creative Education Programme, a two-year strategic project that has been funded by Curious Minds in Lancaster University and delivered in partnership with Lancashire Youth Challenge. And we'll hear about the amazing work uh, undertaken and facilitated by Curious Minds. And at the very end of the event, you will be called on to help us promote this amazing work and all of the opportunities that we are making available to artists, schools and youth and community organisations across the district. It only remains for me to say thanks to you for all joining us today and to all of our partners and members, some of whom are very busy and can't be with us, uh, but we're going to be sharing uh, this presentation and celebration with them uh, um, uh, after this event. I'd like to thank Curious Minds and Lancaster University for supporting and investing in the Culture Co-op. A huge thanks to our artists and creative learner practitioners for their hard work and effort this year, to Rachel Parsons for administrating uh, the Culture Co-op, and to our amazing and immensely talented project manager, Anthony Briggs. So that's it for me. Thank you and welcome everybody. I hope you enjoy it.